Steve, um, gosh, you're leading the E3 yeah. World Championship. Yeah. Um, it looks like overnight success to some because you've seemingly come out of nowhere, but yeah. it's never overnight success. No, exactly. Um, you know, I've worked my way through from uh, British Championship from uh, 16 years old. Um, you know, obviously now I'm 22, so I've been at you know enduro as such for for six years. But um, no, for you know, to I can't really you know comprehend the, what I've done this year, and um, you know, to have won three rounds overall is pretty. Um, you know, yeah. it's pretty. It's good, you know, and obviously, hopefully, I can I can keep that going for the rest of this year and beyond. So. Yeah. What What was your breakthrough year? Was it Was it last year? Was um. It... Yes, I would say um last year, definitely um, you know, to race the world championship that brings you on an incredible amount as a rider. So, um, you know, and then to to go from last year as sort of being semi professional and still working at home to this year being full time professional. That's you know that's changed massively. So um, you know, in in my training and everything. Um, so. Over the winter, um, yeah. you've gone from being, it was a junior, yes. wasn't it, last year? Yes. So you've gone from junior to senior. Yeah. Usually there's a year or two bedding down. Yeah. You've gone from junior to top of the seniors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think you've got three outright wins now, have you? Yeah. Day wins? Um, yeah. How do, how do you make that transition? Um, you know, from, from going at, you know, I'm still eligible for the junior class, but um, for me, uh, the progression was to move to the adult ranks and and um, you know, from my side and the team side, it was for me to progress this year and um, challenge for the title next year. So, yeah. you know, it sort of caught everybody off guard, including myself this year. And um, you know, we we've dealt with that well, and and you know, we're you know in a good position to to fight for the championship. So, um, you know, for sure, that's that's the goal now. Um, obviously, you have to change your speed. You have to speed up if yeah. you like to do this. Yes. Um, and you got, you know, there's there's quite a difference between British Championship speed and World Championship. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. How did you, you know, what what's changed in your your riding or your um, preparation? Yeah. Um, you know, like I like I mentioned earlier, turning professional is probably one of the biggest biggest influences of that. Um, you know, allowing myself to focus 100% on racing and. And more importantly, the recovery. Um, you know, I don't have to rush home and, and work during the week. So, um, and then obviously, you know, going to the factory team with the beta is, um, you know, with regards to the bike, um, you know, is more more set up for me and the suspension and everything. So I feel a lot more comfortable on the bike than um, than I have done in the past. And and you know, that teamed with you know training and and, and, and riding on terrain like what the World Championship is like um, has definitely all helped towards towards me achieving what I have this year.